were making it's fun happening. of him up to about a year ago. Now they realize mm-hmm. everything Al Gore is saying is coming true. Everything Art right. Bell and Whitney said uh, is coming true. Mm-hmm. By the way, Whitney will be on our show on the 21st. So we're going to have him on for an hour and a half talking about his latest book. And we're going to talk about the Superstorm and all that, too. I'm going to make sure of that. But that's what we got to look forward to. I mean, and we're right now thinking about putting people on Mars when we should be thinking about, hey, this is not the time to scrap the EPA and get rid of everybody. Kick out all the laws that it take has taken the last 50 years to implement to help our, you know, our uh, Earth. Now they've been throwing all those out. We're going to speed things up all the more. And then you got these mm-hmm. government scientists. Ah, it's a bunch of BS. You know, nothing's right. going to happen. Well, you know what? Well, you, you can lie as much as you <clears throat> want, but you, can't, you, you have to be a, a, a real idiot not to realize something is going on out here. Yeah, your head must be in the sand, you know? Yeah, obviously. You know, well, this is one of the reasons why. Also, I don't know if you've noticed it or maybe James has noticed it, uh, but the UFO sightings and stuff have been enormously large in the past few years. Uh, Minnesota here, just not long ago, just, you know, within a month, uh, has had a real rash of sightings and stuff, you know, and it hasn't been slowing down, you know, Uh, it's been pretty crazy. But I think the reason is, is because they're monitoring what's going on here as far as earth changes and stuff. And I think that's what they're actually doing. A lot of them, you know. Well, maybe they want to make this their home. Maybe, you know, like uh, Preston Dent, Dennett says that hey. a lot of the <laughs> UFOs come and have bases under the ocean. Well, maybe they they mm-hmm. they come from a planet that is all pretty much liquid they have to live Liquid. in it. They yeah. adapted to it. Maybe they want to sure. make this planet theirs, and maybe we're very yeah. close. Maybe they're even helping speeding it up. Maybe they're not yeah. here to help mankind. Yeah. They're they're here to help themselves. What do you think, James? I, I I've been saying that for well last month or so. Anyway, I I believe that. And um, what better weapon mm-hmm. than to let us um, do ourselves uh, wrong? And then the oceans. They take over. We lose land. Uh, then what comes with that is disease and, and uh, death and everything mm-hmm. else. So, yeah, right. they could use our weaknesses against us and just sit back and watch. Because there's a, uh, another thing: uh, a day in our time might be a second in theirs. Like you know, there are time frames are probably right. way different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they so even they have time, back they, they, they time may not even have a timeline. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. It's really something. Yep. But, well, you know what, uh, uh, James and me and you, Clarence, are at the age, we're not going to see all this. What I no. feel bad no. is I have a lot of grandkids, and I honestly, I lay in bed at night sometimes, and I go, what what life are we going to give our grandkids? I mean, I am oh, so ashamed terrible. of myself, ashamed of everybody mm-hmm. else in my age bracket, and even older that have let this all happen. Mm-hmm. It's called greed. Well, we didn't have a choice in it, Gary. Honestly, we didn't. You know, we're just minute dust specks compared to, you know, certain people in this world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they're the ones that ran this outfit. And, you know, we're on this other side of it, take it or leave it kind of thing. And that's and that's it. We don't have any choices. Even our voices are so minute. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to them, you know. I, I, it's astonishing. It really is, you know. Well, now everybody, and I'm not a political show. Well, I am. I'm class- right. <laughs> I am classified paranormal conspiracy, actually. Right. Okay. I will say this. This is one time where the Republicans, Democrats, or whatever should be looking at mankind, looking Absolutely. at our, our country, our yeah. our citizens, and then make the decision on that, not by the yeah. party and stand by either Republican or Democrat. Go by what their heart feels, not what they mm-hmm. have to do because they are elected as Democrat or Republican and they have to be that way. No, they yep. don't. 
They can vote oh. and, and make their own decisions. You got to think about us, your family. Yes. Okay. Yep. Not what your, you know, what your reputation is going to be if you step out of line, a Democrat or Republican, and you're scared to be honest and speak your truth. <clears throat> That's what the problem is right now, more than ever. Yes. Yep, I'll agree. I definitely agree with that. So yeah, then, about then we get past the point of no return, and then what happens? Then what do we do? Well, that's just it. Then we're going to have to fight for ourselves, you know, <laughs> or group together in little groups and fight, you know, whatever we got to do, you know. Well, um, what is it, Gary, like um, a few hours or a day after... Uh, no electric or anything that uh, it all gets bad. Well, you know, as we had Tom on, who's retired law enforcement, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, he also did other things besides law enforcement for the <coughs> various governments. The, the whole point is about 24 hours after you lose your power, okay, you're going to find chaos starting in because three hours after whatever happens, the grocery stores will be sold out of food. Now. No, they'll be looted. <laughs> well, that'll be happening, but they will be out of food within about three hours. Mm -hmm. If we lose right. the grid system, you're not going to have trucks bringing in any more food. They're not going to be bringing gas because nothing's going to be running because it's all electronics nope. and it's all going to be, you know what? So here's what's going to happen. Right. You're going to have food at your house, right? And maybe because you have a generator, and one of the cheap ones that doesn't have electronic ignition, it's going to run. That That's no mm -hmm. problem. But if now you're in your neighborhood running a generator, trying to keep your refrigerator cool or run whatever for a couple hours a day, some bad person, which is going to be a lot of them, is going to hear that. And they're going to, oh, my God, I hear a generator. Yeah. They got something. So they're going to come to yeah. your house and they're going to raid your house. It's going to sure. get nasty. That's what I say yeah. would happen. Now, the money that we're spending for this wall would pretty much fix our grid system, which is the most important. We already talked about at the beginning of the show what is going on. Yeah. The wall is supposed to stop people from climbing over it and getting into our country. They don't have to climb over it. They go down to Walmart. They go down to Home Depot or wherever hardware stores, buy a $20, $30 tool, and cut a hole in it and go right through the wall. That's what they're doing. Yeah. And if yeah, they're not, they've already done it. <laughs> they, yeah, it was the, uh, yesterday. Yep. Then in the news, yep. they discovered another tunnel as big enough a car could drive through. It had air conditioning and it was very well lit. Now they, they could something. be moving massive drugs through it. They could be massive running massive people. It went right underneath the wall. And it's yep. been, wow. they figured it's yep. been there for about a year functioning. Well, longer than that. Yeah, longer than that. I, they, yeah, the way I'm looking at it, I figure it's been there at least 10 years or more, you know. Yeah, at least. It took them a long time to build that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of them, probably. And the bad part oh, yeah. is, do you think they're smart enough to use ground uh, imaging radar but they check right where they put in the wall to see if there's something underneath <laughs> it? No, you they don't think, think so, about right? that. No, it's a like government. <laughs> they don't think about those things. <laughs> <laughs> <That cost. laughs> yeah built it right over top of it no big deal <laughs> yeah. yeah that's a good point because obviously they've been doing this for a long time they're good at it they know what to do and that oh, might absolutely. could have been alligated yeah. for the um in case the grid system does shut down yeah well that's mm -hmm. what i'm i'm worried about it's just um it, we know the grid system is going to shut down we just don't know well when. it's got to yeah now, I've had some yeah. so-called experts on the show, they'll say, they have said, well, it's not going to shut down every grid system in the United States. There'll be small pockets. Great. You'll have small pockets that some people are lucky to have electricity, right? Well, three-fourths yeah. of the country won't have electricity, and it's going to be, you remember Watts? You guys are old enough to remember what happened oh, yeah, in Watts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Think about 10 yeah. times worse. Well, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Ouch. Yeah, that was yeah. chaos. <laughs> well, yeah, these younger it, folks that are listening, in, they probably won't understand what happened then. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. It went out of control <laughs> fast. I went. It, it went sure from did. it went from protesting to rioting 
to murder to theft to you know all yeah. kinds of stuff burning yeah burning, looting buildings, all burning yeah and it yeah, didn't take crazy. very long for it to happen matter of hours yeah yeah so you can imagine what it's going to be like after 24 or 48 hours yeah well yeah, i'm exactly. more i'm more worried what's going on right now okay mm-hmm. we by the end of this month have to extend our budget or come up with a new budget for this country. Now, we yeah. have somebody who's saying that because of what's going on, they're not going to do anything about it. it. You know, they're not going to do an extension on our budget. They won't sign for it. So it could shut our government down, which it will shut our government down again, which now we already have the tariffs, right, which has drained our economy like you wouldn't believe, has hurt us mm-hmm. drastically, the last government shut down, it hurt people financially big time. So this is going to hurt people again right before Christmas. Good time of the year, right? Go celebrate. Uh, you, tell your kids why you can't buy them a, any presents and why you don't have a Christmas tree this year. Now the elections yeah. are coming up, right? The way this is going to play out is going to be two ways you can look at it. One, it's going to be a circus, I think. Two, if it it does get more serious, I have a bad word. Two words. Martial law. Oh, Lord. Yep. Yep. That's where your FEMA camps come in. Yeah. Oh, no. Another thing, a a political scientist said yesterday, well, you know what? If a president does get impeached right at election time and they get thrown out of the office, but they're still running for president and get reelected. They're reelected again. Exactly. Yeah. So no avoided. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, this yep. is and it can't happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Honestly, I, I, <laughs> no, I, I am scared. No. I remember yeah. Nixon days. I, I'm old enough where I remember what happened. They yeah, got rid of Nixon, Nixon way. Be- I, you know, I voted for Trump. I was a supporter for Trump, like you wouldn't believe, till. Mm-hmm recently when i realized something is not right here yeah yeah <laughs> I, I i look the, the one of the biggest air force bases that protects the united states you know the russian bombers come very close and in, actually into our territory flying their old bombers right and what we mm-hmm. do is we send our fighters off and then they kind of go back into their territory well that's out of a base in alaska well, that base is dependent on their boiler system, which is really in bad shape. And they, they, the Air Force said, you know, this boiler can crap out at any time. And you stripped our budget. We can't fix it. We can't replace it. So we have to shut mm-hmm. the base down. So now we're opening up the country more. Oh, Lord. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, Clarence, our time is up with you. I Again, why don't you tell people how they can find you on the Internet, my friend? Yes. Uh, the best thing for folks to do is just to go on Facebook, uh, you know, and it'd be www.facebook.com forward slash Closer Encounters Radio. You can find us there. And I keep it updated quite a bit. And, you know, you'll see all our shows that we're doing or our live videos or whatever. And or, you know, if you're on Spreaker or any radio kind of uh, platform that has podcasts, you'll you'll find us there. Because they got us on just about every single one of them now. So, as, and as, and I like that part. You know, it's really nice of them to do that. So, yeah, it works out pretty well. Okay. So that's pretty much how you can find us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> my friend. Well, you have a great weekend, will you? Yes, you too. Thank okay, you. you take care. See ya. Bye-bye. Now, James, we'll be back here in about two and a half minutes, so don't hang up. And we should have uh, James on for the last hour. So stay tuned to uh, Night Dreams Talk Radio After Dark. A shout out to Tim out there who's listening on speaker. And on my other app, there's a whole bunch of people. So everybody, just hang in there. We'll be back in two.